Hey guys, this is Sam, and after three weeks of waiting, today we're talking about iOS 10 Beta 2. There are so many new changes in this beta and I can't wait to show you all of them, but in case new changes are discovered after this video goes live here on YouTube, make sure to click here in the top right hand corner of the screen and I'll be continually updating the blog post on my website throughout the day with any new features or changes. But regardless, let's go ahead and jump into our first change right now and you'll notice it right on the lock screen. Now when you rest your finger on the home button, you'll see a new text that appears saying unlocked at the top. It used to just be the little lock icon disappearing, but now you can use a different finger to tap the home button and get into your device. As with every iOS 10 beta, and as I'm sure you're gonna notice throughout this video, iOS 10 is getting more stable and beta 2 feels really nice here on my iPhone 6S. Everything is very smooth and I'm kinda surprised myself at how great everything feels for this only being the second beta for a major iOS release. But regardless, moving on to the mail app, there is a new icon for filters down below in the top or the bottom left hand corner of the screen. If we head over to the iPad for a second, you can now use the app store in split view. It was one of those apps that split view was just missing from and that's been added in iOS 10 beta 2, which is super nice. I want to take a second to talk about Apple Music because a few changes happened here. Downloaded music on the main library tab has been renamed to downloads. And if you actually tap on songs right here, you can now see a number count of all the songs on your device, which is super useful, in addition to that little shuffle button. And you can now shuffle all the songs from here on your iPhone. Now moving on to something a little bit different, I want to be serious for a second in saying that organ donation is a big deal. Why am I talking about that in the middle of an iOS 10 video? Well, Apple gives you the option in the new health app under medical ID to become an organ donor yourself. I think that this is so important because if something would ever happen to you, and I truly hope that something bad never happens, but if it did, you could give your organs to somebody who really needs them and have a big impact on their life. It's just something to think about and it's gonna be, I think a really important feature in the future when iOS 10 launches to the public. As we continue on with our barrage of changes, if we head over to Notification Center or our widget view on the lock screen, there's a new attribution text to the Weather Channel for providing us with our always handy weather data. And in Control Center, the receiving has been renamed to receiving off whenever you're in the airdrop area. You've probably already seen some big changes happening with the Messages app in iOS 10, and I think I should still make a standalone video on it, just because there is so much that changed. But if you tap on this icon right here, there's a new area called iMessage Apps, which will suggest messages, or really suggest apps from the App Store that have new messages functionality in them. These are some nice little icon packs, exclusively made by Apple at this point, just because iOS 10 isn't out to the public yet, but you can download these right here and add them to your Messages app. Hands down, the biggest usability feature in iOS 10 Beta 2 happened within the camera app. Because as you can see here, it is about a million times easier to switch between the front and rear camera. Instead of having to reach your finger up in that top right hand corner of your screen, it is now easily located for iPhone 6s and iPhone 6s Plus users, and I'm sure almost everybody else in the bottom right. If we head over to accessibility settings and scroll down until we see the home button panel, there's a new option titled rest finger to unlock, and to be honest with you, I haven't figured out exactly what it does. I thought it would just mean you could revert back to the iOS 9 style and just rest your finger on the home button to unlock your device, but it hasn't worked for me, so it could be a glitch. But if any of you guys watching this know what it does, leave a comment down below, and I'd love to figure out what that feature is for. Continuing on in the settings app and moving over to the messages preference panel, there's a new option that anyone with a data cap on their cellular device is gonna love because you can toggle a new low quality image mode. What I love about iMessage is that the video and like pictures you send always look fantastic. I am shocked at the quality that can be sent in iMessage, but if you have a data limit, you can use your data really fast, so you'll probably want to enable that if you only have a few gigs per month. And also in the settings app, if we go to our main preference view, the home icon now matches the one on the home screen. It's not yellow like it was in iOS 9. As our last change for this video, oddly enough, the keyboard tapping sound that was brand new with iOS 10 Beta 1 has been removed and reverted to how it sounded in iOS 8 and iOS 9. I think the new sound in Beta 1 was less annoying, but 
I didn't like it as much as what I've been accustomed to since I've started using an iPhone. So the classic keyboard tapping sound is back with this beta. And once again, if any more changes are discovered, I will be sure to update that blog post on my website, so check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, hit like below, and of course subscribe for continued coverage on iOS 10. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS. I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you later.